Back in the 50s, we'd never had it so good. Although some of us had never had it at all. Great Britain was going to get greater. Everyone was going to have cars and money. So they took a load of jewellery, Scots and Cockneys, out of the run-down mines and the shipyards and dumped them in the middle of green and pleasant England. They built a new town and called it Telford. Their kids were going to grow up happy, healthy and well paid, making car door seals for British Leyland. 20 years later. <laughs> Welcome to Telford The Ultimate Guide Part 4. In this guide we take a look at the amazing landscapes of Telford. From ponds to rivers to lakes to pools to open space and golf courses. Let's go and take a journey into Telford's green past.
farmland and derelictions of the pits and iron workings of the first industrial revolution. John Maiden was tasked to shape a new town in Dawley in the early 60s. He presented his plan at a public meeting. I believe we have an opportunity here to create one of the finest industrial towns. <laughs>
I'm the chair of the Friends of Rough Park. I'm Jane Bellingham. I'm a centre manager at Park Lane Centre, but I also am involved with Friends of Rough Park and I'm the treasurer. Hello, I'm Neil Proctor and I'm the secretary of the Friends of Rough Park and also I'm a walk leader, so we walk on it every Wednesday. Hi, I'm Graham Statham. I'm the amateur naturalist interested in butterflies and I've also been a walk leader. My name is Alec Connor. I'm the Local Green Spaces Development Officer for South Telford Rights Away Partnership and one of my duties is to support local friends of groups like the Friends of Rough Park. Friends of Rough Park is a community group set up to help protect Rough Park. Uh, we would like the community to come out and enjoy this really valuable green space. The more people that use it, the more we can do to conserve it, uh, to, to join in any activities we do with the children, get the children used to coming out into the countryside and, in, and to enjoy the park. A fantastic meadow with lots of wild orchids in it. We also have walks through woods and we also have a walk along the live brook. So we have a variety of different things and we try and do many activities through the year, both with children and adults. You feel like you could be miles away from any housing, and yet it's right on the doorstep of Woodside. Uh, you could be in Wales somewhere. You know, it's just beautiful once you get into the woods and, and around it. I've lived here in Telford for years and years and didn't know anything about it. And it's an absolute wonderland. There's so many different facets to the whole of Rough Park. There are open, easy footpaths um, for pushchairs and people who are less mobile. There are little wooden hidden paths to go up and down if you want to explore. There's water, there's hills. I love the fact that Rough Park is only a few minutes walk from the Woodside Estate and people are just amazed that um, such a big sprawling estate has got such amazing green space right next to it and I really like the fact that um, such an accessible site is so good for wildlife and there are thousands of orchids, jays, sparrowhawks, skylarks, foxes, buzzards, you name it, all within easy reach so you don't have to travel hours out into a remote location to see good stuff. Dingy skipper are one of Telford's target species um, the food plant is called birdsfoot trefoil Birdsfoot trefoil loves bare open ground, so these are ideal habitats, ex-industrial habitats. Rough Park have good counts every year, along with other sites across Telford. So my name's Mark Latham, I'm an ecologist at Telford and Recon Council. This morning we're in Randley Valley. Telford and Recon Council is making a commitment to uh, green space uh, by designating a further two uh, local nature reserves. So Randley Valley, uh, along with Rough Park, um, will increase the number of nature reserves in the borough um, to 13. And um, by designating these two new nature reserves, we'll increase the, um, the, the area in the, in the borough to approximately 370 uh, hectares, which is really good for the residents of, of Telford and Rekin as they'll have ac access to uh, natural green space. Hi, my name is uh, Chris Turley. The Friends of Honswood and Randley Valley, uh, along with officers from Telford and Rekin Council, have been working very hard for many years now and a, a management plan has been produced and hopefully we'll be going to Cabinet in, in February and the outcome will be will be, that the Randley Valley will become a local nature reserve. If people would like to know more about the Friends, we do have um, a Facebook page. It's called the New Friends of Hollywood and Randley Valley. But the most important thing, of course, is if you'd like to come along the first Tuesday of the month to help us with keeping the area 
spick and span would be most welcome. It is a very important green space which uh, is now preserved that is as a dedicated as a, a local nature reserve. Extremely proud of Telford and Reakin's commitment to the uh, nature reserves. Telford's coming up to its 50th uh, birthday anniversary and we want to celebrate that by uh, making sure that we retain all of our forest and uh, keep our town green. Thank you for watching Telford the Ultimate Guide Part 4. In the next part we take a look at Woodside and Brookside and Homer Lake. Join us again soon. Thanks for watching.